This is Cooking with the Kitchen Conciliary here at j &A Culinary School. I'm Marnie Hall. And I'm Angelo Lutz. Today, what we're gonna cook is Tony and Moe's broccoli alfredo with a fettuccine. My friend Tony and Moe from Chicago, like the best guys in the world that I have to do time Stop, with. stop, stop, stop. Tony and Moe from Chicago. Tony and Moe from Chicago. Let me guess, you met them in the slammer. Well, where else would I meet them at? This is cooking with the kitchen consigliere. When you're in jail, you know, you don't have knives like you see in Goodfellas. They had the thing where you chop with the razor blade. Not the way it is. We have a canteen, and you buy, like, a can of sardines, even if you don't eat them. You give the sardines to some poor soul that don't have this nothing to weapon. eat. Now, once we have this, now you got to chop the garlic. And, like, Mo loved to chop garlic. Now, let me, let me try this. Now, wait a minute. Now you gotta understand, we, we get bulbs of garlic just like this in jail. Yeah. Now if we were cooking for six people tonight, you'd be chopping six of these. I just wanna try it. Okay, we'll go ahead and it. try it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It does, it works. I mean, it's very slow, but I guess you have nothing but time. Well, you don't do it like that, okay? I did. Mo saw this, he'd be very upset. You know, Mo took pride in his garlic. <laughs> We'd be sitting around the unit, somebody go, where's Mo? You know, Mo, Mo talk like this, you know. Yeah, hey, Mo, what's up? Well, yo, Mo. Does Mo a have a real name? Well, I mean, that's, um, that's not for me to disclose here. I didn't... What do you think, Mo? You think she's done a good job? Go, <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty good he go, but you know, Mo's all right. So now we gotta chop up some broccoli. Okay, that's the next thing. Now you might say, well, they had broccoli. What'd you do, go to the grocery store and get broccoli? What they had was different diets for different religions. They'd have what was called common fare. Common fare was like a kosher meal on the plate with like raw vegetables and everything. So that was the big score. Like me, I changed my religion in jail to get the common fare because they said I was Catholic. I couldn't get the common fare. Right. So I converted to Seventh-day Adventist in jail. The score was to get the uh, to get the broccoli. If we got it, we were good. If it wasn't broccoli, it was cauliflower. The Detroit guys would hoard up all the cauliflower. The and Chicago the Chicago guys, guys would get the broccoli. Would, but broccoli. We're gonna add a little olive oil, oil, folks. That's important. So, what were these guys in prison for, Mo Anthony? What, what do I know? What they were for? You know, we're all innocent. We're in jail. We're all innocent. I was innocent. But you were proven guilty. So what were his charges? Let's see. Well, I don't know what his charges well, come were. On, Angelo. Listen, that's your end of the show. My end is to show these people how to cook. Meanwhile, folks, the oil's on. We're gonna add some garlic. So which one was in for gambling? Tony, Tony, Tony D. Anthony D was in for gambling. The investigative journalist in you has done some work here. For the other guy was head of uh, I don't know what the he syndicate. Was. Oh, you know what Mo was? The best garlic chopper in the BOP. Now, folks, you see how our garlic's getting? See how nice that is? We're gonna add some pignoli nuts, pine nuts. Oh, I love those. Right, and we're gonna toss them a little bit. They're all different crime families, right? I mean, Chicago has a different, and they call that the syndicate. Chicago's the most famous of all. Al Capone, Johnny Torrio. Yeah, but- St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Right, but are you all friends? I mean, do you walk in and say, hey, I'm Angelo Lutz. I'm from the Philadelphia crime family. Hey, my name's Angelo, how you doing? Hey, where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia. I was on Joey's case. That's how it went. Oh, I was on Joey's case. I, I was on it. Joey's case. No, we didn't have chicken stock in jail. But what we did have in jail, you may know him as ramen noodles in the joint there, crackhead soups. We'd have the package, so we would buy the soup when we would cook and make this dish. Mm -hmm. Anthony D would make it, and he would get some of these, and right. that's how we would make our stock. Well, that sounds good. Miss Marnie Hall, please add the broccoli to this dish. All right, here you go. Now, we need pasta. Mm hmm Because this ain't going to take very long to cook. I have some pasta for you. Okay. Here's some pasta. You're the pasta expert. What kind is this? Pepperdelli? No. Like I said, no, folks, the pasta. Me. This is, this is linguine, of course. Of but course. it's very fat linguine. Yes. We're adding fettuccine to the pasta pot right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go, dear. Put it's it all over. pasta. I hope you're making it the right way, because that guy might get mad. Why would he get mad? He's pretty high up from what I hear. Well, high up. He's on the second floor again, right? <laughs> well, you don't want to... What's he got, elevator shoes? I mean, what's going on over there? He's high up. Everybody's well, you don't, high up. you don't want to anger the bosses. I don't want to anger the bosses. What are you talking about, bosses? <laughs> we're going to do a little something fancy with this. We're going to add a little bit of heavy cream. Now we're going to add some Parmesan cheese to this.
Let's taste it. I feel like I'm part of the syndicate. <laughs> you see this dish? Second to none. You want it? Danny's Deli and Catering. Go see Carl and Paula, Melrose Park, about a mile outside Chicago, and tell them that Marnie Hall and the Kitchen Consigliere sent you. Ciao.